Hey what's up guys So I had to send my MacBook Pro for repair which I used primarily to edit my gaming videos through iMovie Since Windows doesn't have iMovie I started looking for open source softwares for Windows to fill in the gap while I waited for my MacBook I found OpenShot shortcut and Kaden Live However let me show you why I could not get the same level of confidence with these softwares and finally went back to iMovie The two key features that are important to me for editing my gaming videos are manipulating the playback speed without compromising the audio quality and resizing the clips. I'm going to try these features in OpenShot, Shortcut, Kaden Life and iMovie. Let's see how these four softwares handled it. Let's start with OpenShot. So here I import a video by drag and drop. Let's drag it to the timeline and play it a little bit. Will you believe me? Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower because I aim to enter it. Now I'm going to speed up the video. I'll right click on the timeline video and go to time. Here I have options to change the speed of the video. So let's do it. And here a couple of options are there. But this is my one problem with OpenShot that I cannot make custom speed changes and bound to select from these options only. There are ways but those are complicated and includes the use of a calculator. I wouldn't do that. So when I changed the speed to 2 times, listen what happened. This strange noise got added along with the chipmunk voice for which there are no compensations available in the software. Another issue with it is when I decided to do a little more work like dragging the ends to cut the clip and dragging back again or using control Z it crashed and it happened every time I did the same so it has a stability issue hence for me it didn't work out next let's move to shortcut here also I'm going to import the video by drag and drop and there's this pop up which I don't need so far so good. Let's drag it to the timeline and play it. After all that's happened, will you believe me? Avalok speaks the truth. Okay, now I'll drag the ends to cut the video. Want me of your plans. After that it's playing fine. Sorry, I know no I stability have. issues. I feared you'd not now I want to speed up the video. To change the speed, I'll go to the properties and change the value against the speed tab to 1.5 times. Now let's see. Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower because I aim to enter it. Okay, hello chipmunk voice. There's a pitch compensation. Let's try it. Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower. It's better, but there's a strange noise. It's not perfect. Now I'm going to try the same thing with Kaden Life. Import the video by drag and drop. Let's play and see. Can't. Not after all that's happened. Will you believe me? Now I'm dragging the ends to cut the clip. Let's check. Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower. Yeah, it's working. But I decided I want the previous clip. So control Z. Mood. I am not your foe. I am merely helping Cirilla. And it's still working. No issues with stability like open shot. Now let's speed it up. Right click on the timeline video. Go to change speed. Okay, good. Here I can enter my custom value. I'll enter 150 and done. Let's check it now. Okay, chipmunk voice. Right click again. Change speed. Here's a pitch compensation. Click it. Let's see what happened. I've lost the truth. I asked it's exactly you like shortcut. Voice is better, but there's a noise. And I edit videos with lots of boot and running sounds, which get completely spoiled in this software's pitch compensation. Time to check iMovie. Here also video can be imported by drag and drop. 
Let's drag it to the timeline and play it a little bit. Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower. Let's drag the ends to cut the clip. Then I decided to undo it. Let's see how iMovie handles it. Your foe. I am merely helping Cirilla. I don't believe you. No issues at all with the stability. In fact, it is very smooth. Feels user friendly. Let's speed it up. I'll select a range in the clip, not the entire video. I can do that by pressing R on keyboard and dragging the portion I need. That's it. Then I go to this clock icon which shows speed. Then custom. Here I'll enter 150 and done. Let's check it. Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the Hmm, there is this chipmunk voice again. But if I click this icon with three circles here, it opens clip filter and audio effect. Let's click audio effect. Okay, there are some pitch change options. I'll select this pitch down one. And play. Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open Okay, the pitch is compensated a bit, but it's not good. So I'll go to the same audio effect and select pitch down two. Let's listen. Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower. And that's it, it's perfect. And I have done this with lot many running trotting videos and those sounds are not destroyed at all in iMovie pitch changes. So that's it. More or less all the softwares have got pretty good features. But I love iMovie because it's easy, smooth and gets my work done. Take care friends and bye bye.